audience explodes as Trump drops the F-bomb on Biden, Kerry look at the woman in gray on the left. We're in a situation with Russia and Ukraine where people are worried about an A-bomb being used. It's enough to get former President Donald Trump to drop the F-bomb.I in a speech in Commerce, Georgia, on Saturday, Trump mocked the priorities of President Joe Biden's administration, particularly climate czar John Kerry, whose concerns regarding the escalating conflict in Eastern Europe seem to be centered, as Trump noted, on whether the ocean will rise one one-hundredth of one percent over the next 300 crazy years. Here at the Western Journal, we've noted Kerry's prioritization of the so-called climate crisis over American security in the face of aggression from Moscow. As the administration continues to bumble in its response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, we'll keep bringing America the truth about how the president is leading us astray because his agenda is more important to him than our security. The F-bomb wasn't the only vulgarity Trump dropped during the speech, delivered at a rally in support of Georgia gubernatorial candidate David Perdue and senatorial candidate Herschel Walker. We have a president that has no idea what the hell he's doing and has no idea even where he is, he said. The fake news, all those people up there, they're trying to say he's acting brilliantly, Ukraine is being bombed to hell. But the mother of all swears was reserved for climates R. Kerry, whose response to the Ukrainian crisis has exemplified how deeply the administration has misread the gravity of the situation. This is the single most dangerous time for our country in history, Trump said. Far more dangerous than World War I or World War II, and that's because of the power of nuclear weapons. And yet you have people like John Kerry worrying about the climate. The climate. Here we are, guys threatening us, he's worried about, the ocean will rise one one hundredth of one percent over the next three hundred crazy years. The woman to the left of Trump certainly seemed energized by the F-bomb. Bad language is less infuriating than bad policy, particularly when that bad policy a misplaced focus on shifting to green energy as a conflict with Russia threatens the global oil supply, is detrimental to American security. Yet, watch the establishment media latch on to the asterisked words in the coming days and weeks, as if they're a sign Trump is unable to lead, not the guy who's thrown American energy security into the ditch by letting carbon ultra hawks like John Kerry run amok and implement policies that can best be described as Green New Deal light. The media may TSK TSK this. A lot of Americans, however, might have the same reaction the woman to the left of Trump did. Facing the prospect of the A-bomb, they're much more comfortable with a few F-bombs and a president willing to prioritize American security over going green. So guys, we have come to an end of this news session. Thanks for watching and please do well to like and subscribe for more updates. Until next time, goodbye for now.